In 2001, divers from Scarborough Sub Aqua Club raised a Sibby Gorman diving helmet from a shipwreck off Whitby. The helmet was lost in 1934 when the salvage vessel Disperser was swamped by heavy seas. Local diver George Freighter was rescued, but his helmet and his livelihood disappeared beneath the waves. It's July 2009 and it's the weekend of Scarborough's Seafest event. Scarborough Subaqua Club and the Historical Diving Society have come together for the weekend on Scarborough's Vincent Pier to demonstrate hard hat diving. One dive will be a bit more special than the rest. George Fraser's diving helmet will be used again for the first time in 70 years. Andy Jackson, who found the helmet, has been coerced into taking it back into the sea. We have it. No excuse now, is it? That gun just came out. <laughs> the hand pump is set up. The air supply is tested. Last minute modifications are made. And exhaustive tests are carried out to check for leaks. Bill Freighter, one of George's sons, has come along to witness the event. John Smiley gives Andy a health and safety briefing. It's very, very steady then. At a fast rate of supply. Yes, we'll plenty of pumping. We, yeah. <laughs> we need a fit man on that pump. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> the dive will be filmed underwater. Standby divers are at hand in case anything goes wrong. Hard hats are normally sealed to the suit via the corselet or collar with a series of bolts and clamps. This means that the air in the suit and the air in the helmet is common. This prevents any sudden loss of air from the helmet and it prevents water entering the helmet and it also ensures that the diver can control his buoyancy. Unfortunately, the bolts around the corselet on the disperser helmet are corroded and so a seal to the suit cannot be made. The helmet will be dived in open mode. This means that only the helmet will contain air, and if Andy were to fall over, that air would escape rapidly. Of course, a quick escape for Andy is out of the question. He's wearing lead boots. It is rather like diving with a bucket on your head. As long as the air pressure inside the bucket is kept greater than the water pressure outside the bucket, then everything will be fine. The dive goes extremely well, and after about 10 minutes, Andy surfaces. The helmet has not been serviced or modified since the day it was recovered from the bottom of the sea. Sibby Gorman certainly built these helmets to last. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
a bit of hard stuck in the top of your head. Is it all right? <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. yeah. You seem to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we it's thought great, you were coming it? up and you went back there again. Oh, what an experience, yeah. You're getting rid of your ear picks. Yeah, well, that's it. It's, it's old hat, this new stuff. <laughs> old hat. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> It's quite something, isn't it? I mean, last time that was dive was when your dad died. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. No, you're welcome. Can you see this, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never think there'd be so much fuss made of it. Oh, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> yep, they used to be fitter in those days as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have done that for now. Yeah. <laughs> it is good. You wouldn't have the time. <laughs>